Vaymond fights in the war for the Stepstones. Three years into the drawn-out conflict, Vaiman petitions King Viserys I Targaryen for reinforcements, unbeknownst to the other commanders. Although he expresses misgivings concerning the plan to use Demon Targaryen as bait during the Siege of Bloodstone to the extent that his nephew Laner Valerian dubs him the Master of Complaints, Vaiman partakes in the ultimately successful plan. About a year after the victory in the Stepstones, Vaymond is present alongside the rest of his family at the wedding between Laner Valerian and Rhaenyra Targaryen. He is seated at the great table alongside his family members. Vaymond leads Lena Valerian's funeral procession on Driftmark in High Valyrian. During his eulogy, Vaymond includes several pointed remarks about Valerian blood remaining pure while glancing at the supposed children of Rhaenyra and Laner, Jacqueries and Lucerys Valerian, who look nothing like Laner or other Valerians. Vaymond's choice to bring up the children's questionable paternity during the eulogy elicits laughter from Lena's widower demon. After Corlys is injured fighting in the Stepstones, Vaymond intensifies his efforts to keep Lucerys Valerian from inheriting Driftmark. After Vaymond is reminded by Rhaenys that Corlys named Lucerys his heir, Vaymond travels to King's Landing to make his case before the king that he should instead be named heir. Upon arrival to the Red Keep, Vaymond speaks with Otto and Alicent Hightower, who, due to their animosity towards Rhaenyra, support his claim. During an audience in the Great Hall, with Otto Hightower sitting on the Iron Throne as Hand of the King owing to King Viserys being bedridden, Vaymond makes the case that he is a true Valerian and the closest kin of Corlys whereas Rhaenyra's sons are not. Before Rhaenyra has time to make her own case, Viserys enters the throne room to the surprise of everyone present and takes charge of the proceedings. Realizing that he has no chance of convincing the king to disinherit his own grandchildren, Vaymond becomes irate and aggressive, shouting that Rhaenyra's children are bastards and calling Rhaenyra herself a whore. Vaemon's slander of the royal family is deemed to be treason and Viserys threatens to remove Vaemon's tongue himself. Before he is able to, Demon decapitates him from behind using Dark Sister. A group of Silent Sisters later prepare Vaemon's body for transportation back to Driftmark.